in order to analyze variable data using a statistical tolerance interval, you can either do it manually, which I have explained in another video. You can find the link in the description below, or you can use a statistical software just like Minitab. And for you, I use Minitab. So let's go and see what Minitab, how, does it, how it works in Minitab. I prepared 15 uh, data points. This is from a seal strength. So we have, uh, for instance, a, a lower specification limit of 1.2 Newton per 50 millimeters in the case of EO sterilization. And we have 50, uh, 20 uh, results that we took from a pull tester, for instance. So in order to analyze it now, we go to statistics, quality tools, tolerance intervals, and then we have to mention where our the, the, the raw data can be found. Well, it's in C1. And then we have to say what is the reliability level that we are looking at. We try a level of 95. And we also have to say what the confidence level is and whether it's a two-sided lower or upper bound. Well, we talked about seal strength, so it's a lower bound. Okay. Okay, again. And then let's have a look on the output. Minitab uh, gives us this chart. The first value we have to look at is the p-value. We have to make sure that the data that we are using is normal distributed. Since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, we can say that the data that we are using is normal distributed. The next thing that we're going to look at is the lower limit that has been calculated. We can see that the lower limit that was calculated is 1.402 newtons per 50 millimeters. So that means we passed our requirements of 1.2 newtons per 50 millimeter with a confidence of 95 and a reliability of also 95. What changes if we now said the population is not 95 but has to be 99? So we increase the reliability to 99. The rest is the same or stays the same confidence level 95 and still lower bound. Okay. So Minitab gives us again a similar graph. We can see that the p-value is again, again greater than 0.05. But this time we can see that the lower limit is below 1.2. So that means in this case we did not pass. We would have a failing result here. If you like the content that we put out, subscribe to the channel and leave the video a thumbs up and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.